Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make your own Fly Lady control journal or home management binder to help you keep track of menu planning, decluttering, organizing, and cleaning your home on a consistent, regular basis. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah McFall of MyMaryMessyLife.com and also author of the book, detox your home and it includes more than 80 diy recipes to help you go non-toxic and natural in your home in your cleaning laundry bath body and beauty products okay so today i'm really excited to share with you this new system this new method i've been using that's going to take all of the natural cleaning and laundry and bath and beauty products that i've been sharing with you all the recipes i've been sharing with you here on the channel and on my blog for many years and put them together in a systemized organized way so that you can be cleaning and organizing and decluttering your home on a regular basis. I've been using it for only just a few weeks and already I have seen a huge dramatic in decrease, not increase, decrease in my stress levels. All of the ideas and the thoughts and the to-do list that I usually have rattling around in my head every day, which I didn't realize until now were causing me so much extra stress and anxiety, are actually so much better now with this method. Now, the Fly Lady system is a totally free system. I'm not advocating something that you've got to join or some subscription program or anything. In fact, you don't have to buy a single thing to start this method. So that is super cool. So let's start at the beginning. Beginning. The entire method is based upon a brilliant lady named Marla Silly. And this is her book, Sync Reflections. If you like books and want to go in depth into the system and learn all of her tips and tricks, I highly recommend starting with the book. This will help you get introduced, get you the big picture of the whole why behind the method and how to do it. And then hopefully my videos and my blog posts can help you take her method and implement it in your life. And as you can see, I have marked up this book quite a bit and highlighted it. I've really enjoyed this book. So I want to give a shout out to Diane in Denmark. She's another YouTuber on here, another blogger, and she has helped me tremendously to help me start this method. So if you want another person to learn from, she is a Scottish lady who lives in Denmark and has for more than 20 years. And she's an absolutely delightful, peppy, happy, wonderful person. I, I love following her on YouTube. And she has a ton of videos that can help you with this method. So let's get started on my home management binder. So in one of the chapters of the book, Marla Silly talks about creating your own home management binder and why you would want to. So basically what this does is it takes all of your to-do list, all of the things that you're already doing and put it into one place. It's like your home management hub. And I've never done this before and I thought this was just a brilliant idea. Like why haven't I thought of this before? So what I love about Silly's method is that she treats managing the home like a job. As homemakers, and this also goes for people who work outside the home, you can work outside the home and also have to run and manage a home. So you're both have your outside job and your homemaking job, or you can be working inside the home, working from home. For all of us, at some level, we are homemakers. We have to manage and run the house that we live in. At some level, we are all homemakers. This method helps you to treat your home, managing your home, like you would your job. It helps you to organize and plan and strategize a whole cleaning system, menu planning, daily routines, and daily routines are at the heart of the method and where you start. Let's talk about the different sections and I'm gonna show you my binder, okay? Okay, so I have these free printables available on my blog if you would like to have those. So first of all, I've got some markers here with erasers and they are magnetic also, so I have them on my fridge. They are dry erase markers that I can write on my sheets here in my binder with. And I've got them here in a pocket, you know, to keep them organized. I also keep my nice pins in here so that I always have my pins and drawing utensils on hand. I never have to go searching through the house for them. Okay, so then I have all of these dividers and I think I have eight of them and I'm using, well, really six of them. I'm not really using the bucket list, one. Okay, so the first one is your daily routines. 
and I'm gonna have different videos about each section coming up. In this video, I'm just gonna show you my binder, but then we'll go into detail about each section later on. Okay, so here's your daily routines. I have my morning, afternoon, and evening routines written down in here. And what I can do is I can take my marker, and when I'm done with an item, like this morning, I've already made my bed, I've already gotten dressed to shoes, I started a load of laundry, I emptied the dishwasher, I, actually I started the dishwasher, eat coffee and eat breakfast. <laughs> it used to say drink coffee and eat breakfast. So I typed these out myself. The printables I have are these pretty backgrounds and then you can customize your morning, afternoon and evening routines for your own lifestyle. Cause obviously my routines are gonna be different than what you're doing probably. All right, next thing is the daily focus. So this is one of my favorite things about the fly lady system is the daily focus because it gives each day a purpose for me and that has helped me so much to not feel like i have to get 50 things done every single day it helps me to say no i'll take care of that on tuesday or that kind of thing so it's really helping so i i wrote out all of my daily focuses i switched some of what marla silly does in the fly lady system around to make it work for my lifestyle. And then I have a sheet where I write out my to-do list for each day. And I know this looks really messy, but it works for me. So this, these are in plastic sheet protectors. So when I'm done, you know, for the week, I can just erase it. See, and if it gets a little sticky, you can wipe it down with some glass cleaner or water and that comes right off. Okay. So then we go on to weekly cleaning. So this is the weekly home blessing hour. This is gonna be your hour of cleaning once a week. You spend 10 to 15 minutes on each task. You don't have to do it all in one hour, but you can spread it out throughout the week. And it just gives me a focus like, okay, all right, I wanna to remember to mop the kitchen the entryway. I wanna to remember to vacuum the living room, vacuum the office, change the sheets on the bed, dust the living room. And my weekly home blessing hour is on Thursday. So that's when I try to get the, all of this done. If I don't get it done, it's totally fine. Then I spread it out throughout the week. Zone one. So this is my zone cleaning and this we're going to have to go into detail about because it's, it's more detailed, but it is an amazing method where you take four to five days and spend it on zone one, which is, for me is porches, entryway, office, playroom and yard. And I have a list of things I want to get done in there. It's detailed cleaning. And then I have my zone two, which is the kitchen, pantry, and laundry room. Zone three, which are all the bathrooms besides the master bath, all the other bathrooms. Zone four, the master bedroom and bath. And zone five, the living room and kids' bedrooms. So what you do is you take four to five days out of each month and you focus on one zone. I love this also because it helps me from not thinking I have to clean the entire house every week. It's just too much, I can't do it. So this helps so much to sort of narrow your focus and make it easier to clean just one section. And you get detailed cleaning done, like cleaning out cobwebs and dusting baseboards, things that we often don't ever get around to. So what the idea is that you would set your timer for 10 to 15 minutes and only work in that zone and then stop. So you're not cleaning all day long or anything like that. It's just focusing on one area for 10 to 15 minutes a day. I mean, pretty easy. And you'd be surprised how your whole house still gets clean by doing it that way. Now, this is where I have my weekly menu plan and this has drastically helped us to reduce grocery store costs, food costs, and just to give me so much peace of mind. So here's my weekly menu plan. I write it all down. I also put it on a board that's in my kitchen and my kids like to look at it and see what's for dinner tonight. And they go over and they look at the board and it's just helped all of us. And then I write down all of our favorite meals in one place so that when I'm making the menu plan, all I got to do is go over here and pick from my list. These are things my children will actually eat. <laughs> and, I, and I know so many of us mamas hate making dinner, especially when you spend 45 minutes or an hour on dinner only to have your kids complain that they don't like it and then don't eat it. So then I have some of our most used recipes here. Hearty ba banana flax muffins recipe. This is on my blog. Peanut butter chocolate no-bake cookies. My kids, all of our favorite cookies. We love these cookies. I have their muffin recipe again. Here's some recipes I wanna try that I got from a magazine, some Halloween stuff. We love making waffles in the mornings. 
So then I wanted to do a self-care section as well. So I wrote down all the things that make me feel good. I wanted to sort of narrow this down and know it for myself so that every day I make sure I do most of the things on this list and I feel much better about myself and my life. So things like my hair is fixed, I'm wearing makeup, earrings, I wanna smell good, which means take a shower, put on deodorant, things like that, very basic. I'm dressed to shoes, and that means getting dressed all the way down to your shoes, even if you only have an indoor pair of shoes that you put on that pair of shoes. I like my nails to look nice, um, and I like for my house to be clean and decluttered. So here are self-care ideas. This also goes in my you know, plan for the week. When I put things in my calendar, I try to pull from these things and say, okay, this week I want to make sure sometime during this week I paint my toenails. Sometime this week I want to paint my nails. You know, I have got a new face mask I want to use. I want to try and get that in somewhere. Um, this over here, I wanted to get some candles. It's kind of wiped off, but I wanted to buy some candles for my house because we've been using candles at dinner time and my kids really like it and it really makes dinner time feel special. So I want to buy some more candles and I'm going to get some twinkle lights for the kitchen and just to make the home feel cozy and fun. And then I created something different, bucket lists. This is not part of the system, it's something I came up with. And I printed these out and these are free printables again that you can get on my blog. But they are bucket lists for every season. I've got the fall one up over here on my fridge, but this is the holiday bucket list. I've got a spring bucket list, winter, summer. And then, like I said, the fall one is on my fridge and I will show that to you in a second. But we sit down with my family and write it out at the beginning of the season. And then we try to really get to those things during the year. And again, that gives focus and intention to our season and helps make sure that we don't leave things out that we really want to enjoy. Um, I also have like blog post ideas I'm gonna keep here so that I keep all my ideas in one place. So anyway, that is the gist of the binder and I have been very, very happy with this system. So here are two more things I wanna show you from the list. This is our weekly grocery list. So we have the dry erase marker over here. This is a laminated sheet of paper and we write down our groceries. I just bought groceries yesterday so we haven't started our new list for the week. And then here's our fall bucket list. If you'd like to look at it, we're going to go to a pumpkin patch. We want to make and eat pumpkin pie, make caramel and candy apples. We want to have a bonfire in the backyard with s'mores and hot dogs. Uh, we want to buy pumpkins and carve them. <laughs> My youngest son said he wants to play Frisbee. So there you go. Um, we want to have a leaf pile, rake leaves. The kids want to get buried in leaves. We want to bake pumpkin seeds and eat them. Go trick or treating, obviously and make a fall snack tray. So yeah, there you have it. Isn't that it's so cute? We have it on the side of the fridge here in the kitchen. You can see my kitchen. And again, this just brings intentionality to our days, makes focused family time a priority. And this helps me to see what everybody is wanting to buy before we were not writing it down and buying groceries was very hard. So this has helped me a ton. So there you have it. That is my home management system, my fly lady control journal. What do you think of this? Are you like overwhelmed at this point? Do you think, God, there's no way I can put all of that together? That sounds too complicated. Uh, I don't think so. I'll go back to my messy house. <laughs> or are you thinking, gosh, that's really intriguing. That's really cool. I'd like to try it. Well, if you would like to try it, stick around because for the next month or so, I'm gonna have only Fly Lady videos and blog posts. And we are taking a little detour off of what I've been talking about with the natural cleaning, but this does implement the natural cleaning that we've been talking about for the past nine months here on the channel and put them into a system. So I really think this is gonna work really well with what we've already done. And here's the thing with systems. There's no police that come around behind you <laughs> and say, are you doing it all? Did you do your, did you make your bed today? Did you do your daily routines? Did you wash your load of laundry? Nobody's gonna come and bother you. So you take the little parts out of the system that work and make sense for you that you like and you're like, yes, that sounds awesome. And you take that little bit and run with it. And if there's other parts of the system you don't like, 
totally take them out, customize them for yourself. This is not a system that's like, you need to follow it, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and you cannot ever mess up. That's definitely not one of these systems. That's not what the intention of the author was to create. So have fun with it, keep it light, keep it, keep it easy, and let's manage our homes well together. We can go on this journey together. Speaking of which, I've started a Facebook group. It's called the Merry Messy Moms Group. So if you type that in in Facebook, it should pop up, but I also have a link in the description box below. And you can join my Facebook group so you'll be getting the Fly Lady updates and we can talk about them really well there together. You can also leave a comment below and we can talk about it below. So let me know in the comments below, have you ever heard of the Fly Lady system? If you have, please give us your best tips and tricks. Let let me know what parts of the system you use, what parts you don't like, things like that. How have you customized the system to fit your life? And yeah, let us know in the comments below so we can all learn from you and we can keep learning in the next month or so as I share more about the Fly Lady system. Okay guys, thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please remember to subscribe to my channel. It helps creatives like me create more free content for you. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. All right, talk to you later. Bye guys.